Hello and welcome to video lecture series in sociology. Today we are going to discuss chapter 5 titled as Change in Development in Industrial Society from your textbook Social Change in Development in India. This chapter is broadly divided into four parts. The first part deals with nature of industrial society. The second part deals with industrialization in India. The third part deals with the job market and the fourth section deals with working conditions in India. In sociology, industrial society refers to a society that uses technology for mass production and has a high degree of division of labor. Industrial society developed in the West with industrial revolution and replaced the pre-modern agrarian societies of the pre-industrial age. Industrial societies are often contrasted with the pre-industrial societies. When they are contrasted, we should know what are the differences between the industrial and pre-industrial societies. Let us understand what is pre-industrial society. These societies have small-scale economies and use unsophisticated means of production for subsistence at domestic level, primarily for self-consumption. Like a rural community, it consists of a small size of population, it follows an agriculture or allied activity, and here people have primary, intimate, face-to-face, -face, personal and informal relationships. Unlike the pre-industrial, in industrial societies, large-scale production is done with use of technology. Mass production is done in factory and the output is sold in the market to generate profit. Even labor power is bought and sold like commodities in these markets. It consists of relatively large size of population, follows non-agricultural occupations. The social relationships in industrial societies are non-intimate, impersonal, indirect, formal and secondary in nature. How do we define a particular type of society? Simply stating, what a society does for a living that determines the nature of social life of that particular society and that defines a society as industrial, agricultural or pre-industrial or traditional type of society. Industrial society came into existence with industrialization and industrialization as a process of change was set in by industrial revolution. There is no exact date on which industrial revolution began. Roughly it began around the middle of the 18th century in England and spread rapidly to other parts of Europe and gradually to rest of the world. Industrialization changed the production process, the way economy was organized and provided employment to large number of people in factories during that time. The early sociologists were influenced by these changes happening due to industrialization in Europe. They were concerned about issues of social order and social change as industrial and French revolutions had radically transformed the nature and structure of society and social relationships. These social, economic and political changes led to emergence of a new society with great productive potential and sophisticated and complex ways of living. However, it also disturbed the traditional structures, relationships and created new problems of poverty and unemployment. In Europe, with change in economic structure, large number of people migrated from rural areas to cities or urban areas in search of jobs and settled down around factories which led to emergence of cities and industrial towns. Let us discuss some of the important social, economic and political effects of industrial revolution and industrialization and how it altered the nature and character of European society and gradually all over the world. Talking about the economic changes, the industrial revolution led to introduction of factory system where mass production of goods was being done in big industries or factories. It led to increase in consumption and change in the standard of living. It also led to rise of industrial capitalism and later on expansion of world trade. Talking about the political changes brought about by the industrial revolution, it led to decline of feudalism or agrarian social structures. It led to growth of democracy and industrial nations became dominant. There was also a rise of a capitalist class that traded and had control over the business. Talking about the social changes, industrial revolution and development in science and technology and health benefits, there was a rise in population. Growth and development of city was a consequence of the growth of population. There was also a process of migration leading to mixing of cultures and emergence of homogeneous cultures world over. New forms of stratification also emerged. And interestingly, 
women also came out of their households and started working in industries. But these changes also led to large number of problems. Problems such as economic inequality, poverty, development of urban slums, unemployment and environmental hazards. Worst was development of weapons for war which led to massive destruction during the two world wars as we have already seen. According to Raymond Aaron, industrial society can be defined as a society in which large scale industry is the characteristic form of production. A number of other features are also related to the basic definition of industrial society such as the industrial enterprise is separate from the domestic economic activity. An industrial firm introduces technical division of labor within the firm. An industrial enterprise implies an accumulation of capital that is invested for running and expanding the enterprise and generating profits. Industrial societies in general are characterized by rational calculation as it involves large amount of capital. There is also concentration of labor in the workplace and there is formal relationship between management and the workers. The production of goods using inanimate sources of energy and machines in large scale industry requires a certain set of skills among people to run the machinery. This distribution of skill affects the nature of stratification in industrial society such as there is a distinction between skilled, semi-skilled and unskilled workers that determines their social status according to their educational qualifications and the level of skill they have. There are issues and problems related to motivation, coordination and management of people as well.